Man United ignored Lenny Euro injury issue before completing 59 million pounds transfer. Manchester United clocked that Lenny Euro has a potential foot issue during his medical but pressed on with his transfer before injury hit in that exact spot, ruling him out for months. Lenny Euro's medical scans flagged a potential issue, but Manchester United were happy to press on, only for the defender to get injured almost immediately. The Red Devils managed to land the Lille teenager, who they regard as a generational talent, ahead of Real Madrid. A 59 million deal underlined their belief that he will be a top performer for at least the next decade, and they chose to accept the injury risk. The medical had shown a potential metatarsal issue, and that is exactly what is now sidelining the 18-year-old, who was injured several weeks ago against Rangers. He suffered a fracture of the fifth metatarsal of his left foot in his second game for the club. Prior to that, United had handled Yoro with care, only putting him through 50% of their training sessions, reports The Athletic. He is now expected to be sidelined for three months, but those at Old Trafford never anticipated him playing every game, so adding another defender was always part of their plan. That has turned out to be Matthijs De Ligt, who reunites with Eric Ten Hag following their time together at Ajax. The Dutch defender joins from Bayern Munich and is expected to be a regular with Euro recently pictured on crutches before having surgery once he returned from United's preseason tour. United's decision to ignore red flags when it comes to recruitment has been cited as a major issue, although their willingness to pursue Euro's transfer appears far more measured. In the past, they've been more likely to go after players heading towards their twilight years only to then put them on lengthy deals and big wages before having to carry them on their wage bill. That was a concern when Casemiro signed, and last term they and the player copped huge criticism. No buyer has been found, and he remains in Manchester. Euro's age profile means, even with his injury, United are confident they've signed the right man. Sporting director Dan Ashworth said, Lini is one of the most exciting young defenders in world football. He possesses every attribute needed to develop into a top-class center back. Having had such an excellent start to his career, we are excited to support him in reaching his immense potential here at Manchester United. This club has a fantastic record of developing young players, whether homegrown or brought in from elsewhere, and giving them the required guidance, time and patience to grow and flourish. In the bustling corridors of Manchester United's Old Trafford, excitement was building as the club was on the verge of completing a significant transfer. The focus was on Lenny Yoro, a highly touted young talent who had impressed during his time in France. The anticipation was palpable. Fans and pundits alike were eager to see how the promising defender would fit into United's plans. As part of the transfer process, Yoro underwent a comprehensive medical examination. The initial results were promising, but there was a small red flag, an indication of a potential foot issue that might require further evaluation. Despite this minor concern, the club's medical team believed that with appropriate management, it was unlikely to impact his immediate contribution to the team. Manchester United, eager to secure Euro's signature and bolster their defensive options, decided to proceed with the transfer. The club was confident that with the right treatment and monitoring, the issue would be manageable and wouldn't affect Euro's performance significantly. The announcement of Euro's signing was met with enthusiasm. The young defender's arrival was seen as a strategic move to strengthen the squad and inject new energy into the team. However, as the weeks went by, the concerns about Yoro's foot issue began to escalate. During a routine training session, Yoro experienced discomfort in the very area that had been flagged during his medical. The injury, which had initially seemed minor, flared up, leading to more intense pain and a significant impact on his mobility. The club's medical staff quickly stepped in, and further assessments revealed that the issue was more severe than initially anticipated. The diagnosis was disheartening. Yoro would require a lengthy period of rehabilitation, sidelining him for several months. The news was a blow to both the player and the club, who had high hopes for his immediate impact. 
The injury not only dashed Euro's immediate prospects, but also put a strain on Manchester United's defensive plans. As Euro began his recovery, the club worked tirelessly to manage the situation. The medical team provided him with the best possible care, and his progress was monitored closely. Meanwhile, Andreas Pereira makes thoughts very clear on regrets about leaving Man United. Andreas Pereira left Manchester United two years ago after struggling for opportunities once he graduated from the Red Devils Academy, with the Brazilian now playing for Fulham. Andreas Pereira has enlisted he has no regrets over leaving Manchester United for Fulham two years ago. Pereira spent 11 years at Old Trafford, coming through the Red Devils Academy after Arving in 2011 from PSV Eindhoven. But once he graduated to the senior team, he struggled for opportunities. Instead, he spent the majority of his time out on a series of loans at Granada, Valencia, Lazio and Flamengo. After he returned from his time in Brazil, the midfielder opted to seek a permanent exit from United. That led him to Fulham, where he has made 82 appearances in the last two seasons and earned a call-up to the Brazilian senior squad. Now, as he prepares for his third year at Craven Cottage, the 28-year-old has insisted he clearly made the right decision to move on from Old Trafford. I think it was the best decision I made in my life, he told the Evening Standard. To come to live and play here, to enjoy my football, to get back into the national team with great players, to enjoy my football in the Premier League, leaving is the best decision I made. The time I was there, I really enjoyed being at a fantastic club, but I don't regret leaving. We, the players in my situation, have this desire to show it was wrong that we didn't play. With everyone's help around me, at Fulham, I achieved a great season. Marco Silva is responsible for me coming to Fulham. I will always be grateful for everything he has done for me. I have to show the trust he has in me by keeping doing what I am doing. You can dream about Europe, we should dream of Europe. It's a good thing to start the season thinking about this kind of objective. Boss Silva has been impressed with Pereira's performances since he arrived at Craven Cottage. And speaking last summer, a year after signing him, Silva revealed the midfielder has long been one of his top targets. I can say that Andreas was one of the first players I called. Last year I had a conversation with him and I wanted to understand last year what his goals were, what he wanted when he was in that impasse of going to Flamengo, then he ended up going to Flamengo, he told ESPN. We had a chat and we got to talk at the end of the season again. And when we had the success last season, one of the players that I felt we had to go after was obviously him. If you saw the situation, he was not an easy player. He was a player who was at Manchester United, we knew his situation. It was a player that I made a lot of effort to be with us. And I'm glad I did, he's been an exceptional player. He was a very important player with and without the ball. He was a very important player in the execution of set pieces as well, and he was a player who was very important at all times. I think right now, he is much more confident as a player. The sun dipped below the horizon as Andreas Pereira sat quietly in a corner of a bustling cafe in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The familiar aroma of roasted coffee beans filled the air, yet his thoughts were far from the comforting routine of his favorite cafe. It had been a few years since he had left Manchester United, and the echoes of that decision still lingered. Andreas had always been a dreamer, fueled by the ambition of making a mark at one of the world's biggest football clubs. He had joined Manchester United's youth academy as a teenager, brimming with hope and excitement. His early years at Old Trafford had been a whirlwind of high expectations and intense competition. He played in some thrilling matches, but the consistency he craved remained elusive. As he sipped his coffee, Andreas's mind drifted back to those days. He remembered the thrill of stepping onto the pitch in a red jersey, the roar of the crowd, and the weight of the club's history. There were moments when he felt like he was on the brink of greatness, only to be pulled back by the reality of fierce competition. When the chance came to leave on loan, Andreas seized it with both hands. Each loan spell was a new opportunity, 
a chance to prove himself and find his place in the footballing world. But with every departure from Old Trafford, the sense of belonging he once felt began to wane. Eventually, the decision to leave permanently was made. It was not a choice taken lightly. Andreas remembered the conversations with his family and close friends, the internal struggle between loyalty to a club that had been his footballing home and the desire for more regular playing time. Now, as he sat in the cafe, he reflected on his regrets. He wondered what might have been if he had managed to carve out a more significant role at United. Could he have fulfilled his early promise if circumstances had been different? Meanwhile, 